Welcome. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day four of Empower. So I'm going to get you to just sit and close your eyes or lie and close your eyes or be wherever you are and just drop the question into the deep of you. What does it mean? What does that mean, Empower? You know, what does that word inspire in you today on day four? Today, the 4th of February, what does empower mean? What sensations emerge as a result? Or what connections or inspirations come to you? For me, when I think of the word empower, I just, I start to tunnel inwards. And it's like, I had this image this morning and I had this, this wire in my hand and I was like, what's the wire? And I realized I was looking for the plug, <laughs> you know? So I was kind of traveling deep into, into this, uh, in, 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 and I was looking for the place to get the power, to empower in. And it was like the deep of my center. So that's kind of the intention today is that we're going in, we're slowing down, we're connecting and uh, we're lying on the floor because it's Sunday. So come lie on your mat and we shall begin. Come, come. Just one second. So come, lie down. So your knees are bent, your feet are flat on the floor. <clears throat> And just find again that word within you, empower. What, do, what arises in your system when you think of that word? What sensations, what thoughts, where in your body do you feel that word? You know, and each of us will feel it differently. Some of you will feel it in your arms and legs. Some of you will feel it in your center. Some of you feel it in your head. Some of you feel it in your belly. Just begin to rock your knees from side to side and stay with that word, empower. So I'm gonna close my eyes so I can really track my sensations. And just as you travel left to right, Let's feel your breath moving in your belly. The sense of the movement is creating a drag up into your diaphragm, up into your chest, so that even your shoulders are changing slightly on the floor. I can feel a, a pull through the skin of my shoulders as I drop my knees down in one direction. I feel a pull through the skin on my arms. It's like a drag all the way down my arms. It's like the it's like I'm pulling my bones and my muscles towards me in the glove of my skin. Well, such a weird analogy. But anyways, that's my feeling right now, that I feel like I'm gliding in my skin as I drop my knees from side to side, as I feel into my hands, as I rock. Notice that. The palms of your hands. What's the sensation of your knees rocking from side to side? Wow, that's so cool. Oh, really? That's really cool. <laughs> Great. So lift your right leg up towards the ceiling and stretch it long and strong and just roll into your right ankle. So I actually wrote right and left on both of my hands and both of my feet today because today is a real right, left, right, left class. Okay. So if you're anyway confused at right and left, be aware that this is a very right, lefty class. Okay. So rolling your right ankle in a big circle. Nice, flex your foot, point your toe, flex your foot, point your toe. And now hold on to your thigh and then draw a circle with your foot by bending your knee and pointing your foot out towards the left and then pointing your foot to the right and then straightening your leg. So it's like I'm drawing a circle on the wall down beyond my the end of my mat so point into your toes and feel like you're drawing a circle so if i 
if I go this way, you'll see it. So imagine that the screen behind me is a piece of paper and I'm trying to draw a circle with my toes on the wall beyond my leg. And so I'm rolling into my hip as I do this. And then circle the paintbrush of your toes in the other direction. Nice. And then have your knee bent and your foot is directly out from your foot. So 90 degree angle. And then draw a tiny circle with your foot towards the wall beyond your feet, the end of your mat. And then draw a tiny circle. Nice. Straighten your leg. Hold on to your leg and pull it down towards you. Oh, and just feel that into your leg, into your thigh, into the deep of your hip. And breathing into your belly. Nice, other side. So bend your right knee, uh, bring your foot to the floor, and then lift your left leg up and just flex, uh, roll your ankle in a circle. So just your ankle. So as I roll my feet, my foot is circling at the end of my leg. And I'm really mobilizing my ankle. All my toes are moving as well. And then roll in the other direction. My feet are quite muddy actually this morning. Um, it was very wet this morning in the garden and I've got big holes in my walking shoes. <laughs> so I have mud on my feet. Nice, flex your foot, point your toes, flex your foot, point your toes. And now, so bend your left knee and then point your left foot. So holding onto your thigh, point your left foot towards the left and then straighten your leg and then point your left foot towards the right and then bend your knee. So there's this circle that's happening in your leg. Just feel that. Out, in, out, in, out, in. And then the other direction. Foot points in, mm, foot points out. In, out, in, out. One more time. In and out. Have your knee bent. Foot is directly 90 degrees from your knee. And then just draw a small circle with your foot towards the wall down beyond the end of your mat. And then circle in the other direction. Nice, stretch both legs up. Oh no, hold on to that leg first. Left leg, pull it down towards you. And just deepen in. Moving your leg, connecting down into it. Having a sense, you know, so as you're moving there, you're moving in an extraordinary way. It's not a way that we move typically. So it's always really interesting connecting to new ways in our legs. So great. So both legs up. And now you're going to bend both knees and then point both feet wide and then both legs straighten and then both feet in. So now we're drawing this big circle with both legs. So feet together and then feet apart, feet together, knees apart, knees together, feet apart, feet together, knees apart, knees together, feet apart, feet together, knees apart, knees together, feet apart, change direction. So for me, this is like an extraordinary thing to do with my hips um, in the way that this doesn't feel like I do this typically in my day. And so anything extraordinary helps me feel my, I can like, I can feel my legs. And so I feel really connected to like gnarly places and places that are going, what are you doing to me? <laughs> so pause with your legs up towards the ceiling and your arms wide and just Pause there. If that's not relaxing to have your legs up in the air, then bend your knees and bring your feet to the floor. For me, it's very relaxing to just let my legs hang. But see for you, maybe your feet are on the floor with your knees bent. And just pause. Again, if it's not, if it's relaxing to have your legs up, then do it. Otherwise, have your feet on the floor. This is a resting pose. 
nice so drop your left foot down and let it touch the floor and then bring your right ankle on top of your left knee so we just did that movement a moment ago but we didn't have a knee in the place okay then lift your left knee up and pull it up towards you arms are going to be wide the whole time drop your left foot to the floor stretch your right leg up stretch your left leg up both legs are straight okay drop your right foot to the floor left ankle on top of your right knee and now pull your left right knee up towards you foot to the floor stretch both legs up okay so just travel from side to side you don't need to let your foot land on the floor completely bring your right foot to your left knee squeeze it towards you both legs straight bring your left ankle to your right knee squeeze it towards you stretch both legs up again right foot to your left knee squeeze your knee towards you both legs up last one left leg a foot on your right knee squeeze your knee towards you both feet to the floor cool so i think i'm going to instruct this movement from here it might be easier okay so lift your right foot up and bring your right ankle to rest on top of your left knee embrace your elbows into the floor and rock from side to side so this is the first time that we're twisting with our leg up so go really slowly feel how your waist your hip your knee are different when you have your leg crossed up on top of the knee so how far down to the right can you go let it really drop and then how far down to the left can you go let it drop as far as wellness down to the right and i have to really let it's like my legs are pulling my trousers down as i go to the right and then there's a, a squeezing of my abdominal muscles as i go to the left so there's length on the right and a back bend and then as i go to the left it's actually a forward bend of the spine so notice that how do you feel the length in your belly as you go right how do you feel the squeeze in your belly as you go left nice pause change legs left leg up bring your ankle to your knee brace your elbows into the floor and then rock from side to side slowly feeling the shapes and patterns of this so can you feel the difference between your two sides what are you learning about your body as you move i'm learning something new right now it's very interesting so just learn learn is this different side to side was like what's the diff what <laughs> what's the difference what's the connections which one is pulling and lengthening my belly which one is shortening and squeezing my belly is it as clear this side as the other side or not nice both feet to the floor pause so bring your right ankle to the top of the left knee okay reach your left arm long beside your ear and now i want you to drop and roll over towards the left so you're lying on your left arm your right foot is landed and you're lying on the side of your left leg so my left knee is bent my right knee is bent but my right foot is standing and i'm resting deeply on my left arm okay so we're going to do propeller from here so our pendulum the pendulum so reach your right hand forward and just feel like you're trying to pick up something straight forward in front of you okay and now pull your right elbow back and bring it back to the floor behind you notice your pelvis notice your hips what's happening in your spine this is a new movement for the side of our waist so really listen in what happens in my body here nice and now reaching forward touch the floor as far as you can 
And now pull your right elbow back to the floor behind you. Shoulder lands. Reaching forward with your right hand. Like my face is on the floor and I'm almost trying to bring my chest to the floor and the reaching forward that's happening. It's really delicious on my left shoulder here. Very lovely length and opening in my left shoulder and my right hip. Nice. Now put the elbow back. Bring it to the floor behind you. Last time, reaching forward, pause. So really feel into your belly, feel into your chest. Let your breath as you reach forward. Nice, come all the way back. So to come out of this, lift the right foot up, bring both feet back like gliders and come back to center. Nice. So I'm going to travel from side to side so I don't have my back to you. It's easier for you to see my legs. Okay. So bring the left foot up on top of the right knee. Reach the right arm long beside your ear. And then drop yourself down so that you're lying on your right arm. Your left foot has landed and your right knee is bent. So cool having an L on this foot. It's really cool. I, I know what foot it is. So random. I wrote L's and O's on my hands and feet. So, pause there, long into your arm that you're resting on, and then reach the left hand forward and touch as far forward as you can. Nice. And then pull your elbow back and bring it to the floor behind you. And notice this shape in your body. For me, this is a really interesting, delicious twist for like the belly in front and then along the side of my waist and back into my sacroiliac joint. So the psoas is really lengthening, the iliacus is really lengthening. Reach your hand forward, touch, and then pull your elbow back. Yeah, my iliacus. Iliacus is just beside the psoas. It's um, kind of this beautiful flower petal of a muscle that is the deep pelvis, the deep side of your waist and reaching your hand forward and then coming back elbow to the floor nice one more time reaching forward pause there so again i feel this really interesting length into the right shoulder this nice sense of connection into the left hip and then coming all the way back Lift your foot, bring your knees together and come all the way to your back. Nice. So great. This one then. So lift your right foot up and bend your right knee. So your right ankle is resting on top of your left knee. Now we're going to drop down so that our right knee lands and we're lying on our right arm. Okay. And then you're going to reach down and hold on to the right foot and straighten the left leg. So my left leg, which is the top leg, is now straight. And my right foot, I'm holding onto it. I'm going to bring, bend my elbow and hold onto my head. It feels very nice. And so feel that. You're holding on to the right foot with your left hand. You're lengthening into the left leg, long and strong. And you're imagining in wellness and wholesomeness that that right foot can come closer towards you, but only in wellness. Okay, so it's like, it's a bit like pigeon lying on your side in some kind of weird and funky way. <laughs> Just deepen into your belly, connect into your breath. Nice. Bend your left knee and then release your right foot. Come land onto your back. It's a very complicated one for a Sunday morning. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Great. One more time, this one. So bring your left foot to rest on top of your right knee. Drop, reach your left arm long and roll over onto your left side. Bend your left elbow so you're resting on your left hand. Reach down and I'm going to let my right knee help me. So I'm going to reach down, hold on to my left foot and then straighten my right leg long. So my right foot is long and lengthening. My left foot is in my right hand and my head is resting in my left hand. And then maybe you pull your foot a bit closer towards you. I just feel that. Well, there's lots of options for this top leg. It's a very free feeling. 
<laughs> Come land on your back. Arms are wide and pause. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. And just breathe into your belly. Pause. Settle, land, deepen, slow down, breathe. Stretch your legs out long. Reach your arms overhead if you wish so that you're in a big X. Like, um, yeah, both hands are wide, both legs are long. And just pause there. And just notice when you think of the word empower, what happens in your body? What are the sensations? What does that word inspire in the deep of you? Nice. Um, yeah, that I just really like those knee movements and those hip movements. Um, I've been teaching, all, well, assisting all week, and every time I land, I've been landing on the floor. That's the movement I've been doing. This kind of deep waist, deep hip movement. Um, so I, I hope you have a great day. I hope you uh, do things that resource you. It's yeah, really coming into spring for me now. I've been weeding every day connecting to the land. Yeah, it's wonderful. What are you doing? How does the quickening of the season affect you right now? What's happening in you that's telling you, hmm, the days are getting longer. What is inspired in you? Um, so great, I will see you tomorrow, Monday morning. Uh, we're gonna be back up standing and moving and connecting. And yeah, just I'm gonna do some trees this week. Uh, Catherine was looking for trees. We can do trees. <laughs> yeah, so anytime, send me a request. I love requests. I love hearing from Nada in France, Catherine in England, um, Deirdre in Waterford, um, all the different, yeah, just tell me what you love. And I probably love it too. Great. Uh, ciao, ciao. See you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.